<laughs> let's uh, transition away from HBO and towards the next bit, Robin. Uh, Scott is here with some interesting pieces of hardware, I have to say. Yeah. Uh, those we headphones got a few look things. pretty we got fantastic. Some we got some phones. We got a special colorway. Excellent. Okay, so first things first. Uh, last time you were on, the next bit Robin had not launched. That's right. And you were, you know, very, it was highly anticipated. It was months ahead of, of delivery. Now it's launched. How have things been for you guys? I have to imagine it's been a crazy couple of months. It's been a crazy couple of months. I mean, first of all, I think it's great to just get it out there and start yeah. getting feedback on, hey, this sucks or this is great. Love this. Can you do this? Can you do that? Um, and so that's super great. And I think number, number one, number two is like our fans, they were super patient as we kind of went through kind of like the troubles of actually trying to just get stuff out the door, as I was mentioning earlier. Um, so we just wanted to kind of get through all that. So mm -hmm. now we can get to the point where like, oh, you buy a phone, we ship a phone. Mm -hmm. Pretty straightforward, you know? And so we're there. We're on Amazon now, which is pretty exciting. Um, people can do research on there, you know, for the average sure. consumer. It's super great to kind of get some feedback there. And uh, yeah, so it's been great. Excellent. Um, hard lessons learned. I have to imagine there's been at least one or two hard, hard lessons learned. Yeah. You know, I was just talking about this earlier today. I mentioned it a little bit earlier. So getting the information out of Kickstarter and Backer Kit, you think yeah. that this thing, we should probably test that and mm -hmm. how that's going to import in. And we literally tested it like as we're like, okay, let's ship to customers. All right, we're ready. Let's go. Oh, and man. then like a week would go by and you're like, how many did we ship? And like a hundred. And you're like, what are you talking about? You know, like, uh -huh. this would just go on and on and on. And it was just a super manual process that we had to kind of climb out from underneath. And um, so it just takes time. I think that was the hardest thing is like, you know what? Make sure that you're kind of all ready to go as you mm -hmm. as you actually start having phones. Because we literally had thousands of phones sitting there and we just could not ship them out. And then we kind of had silly stuff like, you know, like the accessories would get shipped out, but not the phone. And then, but we wouldn't communicate it to people. Say, so get a tracking number. Oh, great. My Robin's coming. And mm -hmm. they'd open up the box and like, where's my Robin? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, I think on the logistical side, um, we definitely had some hard lessons learned there. But you were able to pull it off. And, uh, well, I mean, uh, Ron is a daily owner and user yeah. of the next bit Robin. Show He's only dropped it once. Your phone. <laughs> I've only dropped it once. But uh, I love it. It's great. It's it's uh, survived the fall. It, it survived the fall, luckily. But uh, you yeah, know, it's been it's been my daily phone for what like two three weeks now, and it's been I, I'm even still using. Did you get the latest uh, the software update? Uh, I believe I think so. Yeah, no, I got it as soon as it, as, as soon as uh, it could. Um, but uh, I think a big testament is I'm still even using the Nextbit launcher. I haven't moved over to the Google launcher yet, so uh, <laughs> it's 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 it's, it's clearly working for me. So. Awesome. <laughs> well, we're excited about the new software out there because yeah, I mean, so tell now, us a little bit about that. well, now I can send you a taco and I can okay. flip you off the middle finger with in text messages, which Excellent. is super great because we get the important. latest poop updates. emoji. I imagine in exactly. tow, okay. exactly. All right, so that's, that's the important one for this show. That's the important we've had full one. segments on uh, the poop emoji, exactly. but anyway, this is really important actually. <laughs> and then obviously the security <laughs> updates um, and then bug fixes on our part. Um, but we also enhance the audio, um, mm -hmm. so people see kind of a big improvement there. And I think the biggest thing where we focused on was improving the camera. When we launched the camera, the images that the phone took, they're good. Um, we got an 81 DxO score. However, the shutter speed, and, or the, not the shutter speed, but the time from when you actually hit the UI button and we actually captured a photo mm -hmm. was long. Mm -hmm. like I find long. that that's a pretty that's common thing. Like I've, I've play with a lot of devices and I feel like that's one very kind of recurring theme in a lot of yeah. cameras and it's kind of it can be frustrating yeah for sure I mean you like you hit the button you're like oh thank I thought I captured it and then you notice like by the time you get the image it's it's terrible and so so we yeah. spent a lot of time kind of focusing on that and uh Robin users have it and it's a great improvement and like, I've actually tested it last week that you can see on greenbot.com that's right <laughs> <laughs> sorry Jason I had to jump in there do what you got to do, Flo. I had the link in there because I knew you were going to do that. I knew. Oh wait, you were that's do the that. review. <laughs> oh, never mind. Flowception. Flowception. Look the other way. Look the other way. Um, okay, so you also um, announced a partnership with. Um, how do you say this? I I I. That's exactly how you say oh. it. I, I, I. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so, that was a total guess. So I I, I is a Danish uh, headphone company out of um, out of. Danish land. Okay. <laughs> um, the Danish view. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, they've been around for 10 years. And back when I um, was a partner at one company, one of the companies that always ended up on image boards as inspiration was III. And I, so I've always loved their design. Didn't know the guys. Um, but when we when we started working on Rob and we kind of had that on track, I started thinking about, you know, people are going to come to our website and want to buy headphones or headsets that are going to work with the phone. And I'm like, well, we don't have the expertise to pull that off. We should try to go partner with somebody. So I, immediately I thought of, 
hey, I, I, I. And what I loved about them was I love the simplicity in design. I love the execution, though, even though it's like a black set of headphones and very, very serious, they're very, very purposeful. They're very, very good headphones, and the design, it actually has a lot of character, even though it seems very, very simple. So for me, like from a design perspective, like there's a lot in common with the industrial design of Robin. Mm -hmm. So anyway, I reached out to them, like, hey, we're, can we sell your headphones on our website? You know, maybe we just take some earbuds and like, you know, we have these, these new headphones we're doing called the TMA2s which basically allow people to customize their headphones. Oh. So it actually felt natural with just in terms of like being an Android fan mm -hmm. and kind of like that idea that people can go in and ch kind of choose what they want. They're like, why don't you do kind of a next bit, next bit curated version of their headphones and then sell that on your website. And so we curated, you basically you can choose from the headband to the ear cups, whether it's over the ear, on ear, the speaker driver and the cable. And so we did a custom cable to go along with that. But then the rest is kind of our configuration. You can buy it on our website, 225 US. Um, and we're excited about it. These are these are like you want to shut out the world type headphones. These are shut out the world. Yes, yeah. these are over the ear. You should try them on, Jason. They're awesome. Don't you guys have a pair of them? They're very comfy. We have I have them turn right them on myself. Hmm. Very cushy. Here's very where cushy. I turn into uh, Princess nice. Leia. Exactly. <laughs> but they are very co cozy and nice. I'm a big fan of really nice over the ear headphones. So these feel. Uh, Jason feel looks good. so nice in headphones. Look at that. <laughs> Um, He's selling okay. it. Sorry. Oh, so by the way, when we did the audio tuning, yeah, obviously we nice. got to use these headphones, so they're really excellent. Really you also yes. have in here DJ collaborations. What's that all about? Yeah. So one of the things that was kind of cool <laughs> that they bring is so they have they have all these relationships with DJs because when they design their headphones, they start with this. Hey, let's design the headphones for DJs. Oh, uh, okay. Got um, it. So it's not a professional tool. They're sold. They're you know they're reasonably priced between two hundred and three hundred dollars. Um, but they're they're curated and developed with DJs. So so what they did was they uh, hooked us up with two of their DJs. Uh, one is this woman out of Liverpool. Her name is Lauren Losung. She's a house DJ during the summertime. She has a residency in Ibiza, mm -hmm. um, and so she did a ring ringtone, um, and you can download it in our community forums, and it'll be lo it'll be kind of loaded on our next software update as a ROM, uh, um, as a as a ROM update. And then the other DJ we worked with is a San Francisco-based DJ. His name is Giraffage. Mm -hmm. um, and he's uh, he's a little bit more well-known than Lauren. Um, and it's super great. I mean, it's super fun to kind of work with people. Because as a brief, you know, like I work with creators all the time. And um, as a brief, we're just like, you know what? Uh, I don't know, do a ringtone. We have these two kind of products which kind of revel in the simplicity of design. But obviously, we're coming to you because we want you to bring your flavor. And then, by the way, on a ringtone, don't do a slow build. It needs to be loud for a second <laughs> from the very start. Don't do the breakdown. <laughs> exactly. Do the everything comes in exactly. and, and the, the club goes screaming. So that so. was the briefing yeah. uh, for the DJ. So, yeah, we're excited. We're nice. excited about that. That's been fun. Very cool. Uh, and very unexpected. I really like the uh, kind of the color coordination, the too, because that's obviously exactly. what, what really ties it into exactly. uh, the next bit. So, and then you mentioned the the new update, uh, obviously rolling out to, to folks right now. Yep, that went out last week. We got 75% uptake, so we're, yeah. Excellent. What was, uh, were there any challenges in kind of moving over um, with the Marshmallow update? Well, we were already on Marshmallow, but so actually doing, it was a pretty, okay. it was just the dot one right. update. Um, so no, I think for us it was about trying to push it out as fast as possible, and then we had some other bug fixes and, and um the audio updates that we want to do. So it's really just about bundling that up and getting out as fast as possible. Nice. Nice. Um, and you mentioned Amazon. Um, I did notice that there's a, there's a, a kind of a sale going we on. We do. So Amazon, Amazon right is having a sale on Amazon.com, surprisingly enough. <laughs> what? Wait a minute. It blew my mind. It goes on sale tonight for $2.99 US and it'll be for a week. Nice. Excellent. So, yeah. Um, so and that's going on sale midnight Pacific time. All right. Cool. I think I'm going to have to jump on that because uh, my mom's always like, hey, my phone, It's uh, I need more memory. It's running out. So I think the Robin would fix that. $2.99 US. It's all yours. You have a week to make a decision. Yeah. Your mom is installing apps like crazy, right, Yasmin? Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it's photos. Oh, yeah, no, it's you're photos. right. It it's is photos, photos and videos. Yeah. And we don't, we don't support videos yet, but that's coming. That'll come out this summertime. Um no exact date yet, but but we're already working on it, so we'll do video support soon on that. On Robin. So true. And if you if you've got an improved camera, then of course people are going to take more photos. And, and you've got four K. You're shooting four K video, which means yeah. you're generating a lot of content. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. uh, tell us about kind of a ROM support. Um, there's you had a little bit of news. Yeah, yeah. I think it was a little while back about Cyanogen. And well, so Cyanogen said they were going to do, but it actually just got released. We haven't actually loaded on it. So we have CM13 okay. now. So uh, okay. Steve Kondike, um he actually did the ROM port himself, so we're super excited about getting right. out and trying nice. that out. 
Um, there's also uh, Android Ice Cold Project just released their ROM recently, so uh -huh. AICP. Um, so yeah, we're super wow. excited about. Now that those two are out, we're just kind of hoping they're more. But we're super excited about those two kind of coming out. And I think you know, just with the warranty that we offer, so that even if you brick your phone while you're loading one of these ROMs mm -hmm. on, you're still covered under warranty. We it's think not going to yeah, break the warranty. Yeah, I think it's warranty. just something that is part of Android. It's been there since the very beginning, both for me, Tom, and Mike, and the and the whole team at Nextbit. Um, we're super excited about kind of supporting that as much as we can. Right on. Um, big picture. Think uh, you know. I think when I think of Nextbit as a brand right now, based on the Robin, mm -hmm. I think of a company that, that looks at challenges that we currently have in the smartphone world and kind of offering solutions. For example, obviously the Robin offloads, uh, you know, files into the cloud kind of dynamically. So it kind of alleviates this, I just ran out of storage on my device yep. problem. Yep. Um, are you willing to kind of talk a little bit about what other problems <laughs> you might be working on? Well, you know, we've, we've been kind of public about talking about um, storage being a problem, the setup of the phone being a problem, all the things that you think the cloud could help you on. Mm -hmm. uh, I think there's some obvious, there's kind of some obvious candidates there. But we also think that um, not only the cloud, but even um, kind of the adaptive nature of what we're doing sure. can also help the device. So, you know, think about, uh, I don't know, battery life. Battery life is something That's that a big one. If you think about people talking about their number one issues is battery life, you know, camera being the second, mm -hmm. and then there's kind of a host of other things else. So we think there's there, there's a lot of opportunity to kind of leverage both the cloud and some machine learning to kind of do some kind of cool things there. Mm -hmm. Excellent.